SI base units are explained in this video and the purpose of this video is to help you understand a little bit better and get a better feel for what SI units are all about and the explanation in the book is not quite as clear as I'd like it to be so hopefully this will help you get a better feeling for how base units are attained and also how they're used and how they compare to English which we're going to see in this column, metric, and for all of the different types, which are time, length, mass, temperature, amount, electric current, and luminous intensity. Now, these little guys right down here are only going to be used in physics. So you really don't have to worry about these at all, but they're there because the textbook shows them. So remember that these two dudes right here, electric and luminosity, uh, they're just not going to be used in chemistry. Now, the base units that you'll be using throughout the course have to do with seconds, which I don't think anybody needs an explanation of, and then meters. Meters are for... Uh, length, and it's a measure of length, and they're abbreviated with an M. And then we have kilometers, and uh, I'm sorry, kilograms, which are a measure of mass. And a kilogram is abbreviated with kg. And by the way, this whole chart is filled in for you on a handout that you got in the first day of class. K is Kelvin. That's a unit of measure for temperature. Now, kelvins are like uh, degrees centigrade in terms of their size. They measure the same size. And as you probably know, uh, degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature that you hear when you hear news broadcasts about the weather. And you probably work through conversions to convert centigrade into Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit into centigrade. Well, the metric system uses centigrade and the Fahrenheit is used in, in the USA or metric system. Okay, and then we have Kelvins. And Kelvins are 273 degrees lower than the degree centigrade scale. But the, the degrees are the same size. You'll notice that the little degree sign doesn't show up when you do, do write Kelvins. So Kelvins are just written as Ks. Moles is your next one. Now, moles is just a number, and the number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. We'll be using that later in the year, but you're getting exposed to it right now. Little dudes that you're not going to use are amperes, and they're abbreviated A, and candelas, and candelas are a unit of measure of luminosity, and the ampere is a measure of electric current, so electric current and luminosity. So ampere are the same, okay, all of these guys use the same thing for amperes and candelas. So it's ampere, 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 candela, 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 and uh, again, we don't need to worry about those because we won't be using them in chemistry. So let's go back and fill in the ones that we will be using. I think you realize that seconds are the same for all systems. So seconds are written in on all of these and we will use them in chemistry. And then in the English system we'll start with inches. You know that there's 12 inches in a foot and that there's three feet to a yard and then uh, there's many many yards in a mile and those are English system of measurements and they keep they, they don't work in units of or multiples of 10 well when you get into the metric system it's a little handier and definitely in science it's exceptionally handy uh, calculations are tough enough without uh, uh, going to something like the English system to do conversions so we use meters and decimeters a decimeter is one 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 tenth of a meter and then we use centimeters which is one one hundredth of a meter and then millimeters which are one one thousandth of a meter 
Okay, next line on mass, we've got ounces in the English system. You know about ounces and pounds, okay? There's uh, a conversion for that, which is not even, and pounds to tons. Again, not an even conversion, and we will rarely, if ever, use those. However, in the metric system, it is handy to have grams and then kilograms, which is one one, or I'm sorry, 1,000 grams. And then we have milligrams, which goes smaller. They're one one thousandth. And then you have this weird looking little guy here called micro. And micro is one times 10 to the minus six. So a microgram is one times 10 to the minus sixth grams, a pretty small number. Milligram is even pretty small, and most of you have not used scales that will even be able to measure a milligram, but we have scales that will do that. Now, we've talked about time, and we've talked about length, we've talked about mass and temperature, and the amount we've only talked about in SI units, and that's the mole, but there are also moles in the metric system, so that's kind of handy. And amounts in the English system that you're familiar with would be things like dozens and grosses and pairs. All of these refer to dozens as 12, grosses 144, and pairs are 2, as you know. Okay, mole, just that big old huge number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And you might make this little notation on the side of your chart that you got in class the first day of school. And these are the units used in chemistry. In chem. So these are the ones that you need to know about. Now, I'm going to do a second video here. This is actually part one of a two-part series. And in the second one, I'm going to tell you about derived units and where SI units actually come from, SI base units, where they come from. And then we're going to also give you a reference at the bottom of the page, which is already on the printed page that you have. I'll show you where that is. And that reference will be to, uh, first of all, the address for this little tutorial that you're looking at here completely filled in as you see it here. Okay, this is your handout that you got in class. So we're just doing this a step at a time so that you keep your attention on one thing at a time and don't get lost in all the writing. So this is the end of uh, video one, and video two will be ready for you to look at as well. Bye-bye.